And today, well, today you probably see this big grin on my face because I'm a part of the release of this Daystate Alpha Wolf. And this, guys, if there is an award from Daystate that had the most stylish, the most ergonomic, and just plain badass air gun on the market from them today, this really is the gun that's going to take the cake. I mean, this thing is badass. Now, um, where do we start with it? I mean, you guys, you're probably looking at it and thinking the same thing I am. That thing is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and tear into this a little bit more. We will go ahead and take it down to the range for you here in a little bit. So hang tight there, but let's run through this air gun and just kind of get an idea of what it really is. So at first glance, what is it? Most of you guys probably are thinking, yeah, it's a brand new platform, but it's not. Closer inspection should reveal to you that this Alpha Wolf, well, it's built on the Delta Wolf platform that was released about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Daystate has now taken off that AR grip that was down here on the Delta Wolf and fitted the air gun with a beautiful laminate stock. And this laminate stock is probably pretty reminiscent of the Red Wolf laminate stocks that came out uh, just a few years ago. Absolutely gorgeous and matches day state's look to a t now this gun is available in 177 22 25 30 calibers and unlike the delta wolf where we waited for a long time to get it one in our hands after we saw it release at shot show well this one this one is available today at your online retailers or local air gun shop here in the united states so if you're really keen on getting one and being the first to get one, you may wish to pause this video right now and get it ordered because I would imagine these are probably going to be flying off the shelves, especially now that people are knowing that they are available right now. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead. Like I said earlier, we're going to take this out to the range here in just a little bit and show you some groups or show you a group. But before we do, let's take a look at the features that this rifle packs as well as some of the improvements over the original Delta Wolf. So first and foremost, we have a scope rail here, which has a Picatinny rail on it. But at the back of it, they've done something nice. They've put that bubble level already built in. And that, my friends, is really nice because you don't have to buy accessories like this one I have here. Some other things. Well, it has a 600 millimeter art barrel. Again, these are swappable by calibers. Uh, you have PRS accessories that are available for both the Delta Wolf and now the Alpha Wolf. They can be swapped in here. So if you're looking for uh, a new butt pad or something, you can pick those up as well. You have the standard carbon fiber shrouded barrel. So that's going to help quiet things down. And I know in this 177 caliber that I've uh, been shooting just a little bit, it quiets it down quite a bit. But down at the end down here, well, now they have the one half by 20 thread count too for any kind of moderator that you're hoping to put on, whether that be a zero DB or a Donnie FL or whatever it is that you might, might be your go-to moderator that you already have at home. It's going to fit on here. And so really want to give a shout out to Daystate for listening to customers because that change took place pretty quickly, especially for the air gun world. And that's because they're listening to what we have to say. Electronic trigger, of course, you wouldn't expect anything less than a Daystate rifle that is an electrically uh, controlled air gun. Carbon fiber bottle with a valve built into it so you can carry extra bottles around if you want to. You have a built-in chronograph in the barrel down here so you don't have to bring one to the range and you can always know what your air gun is doing, especially if you're in the middle of a competition or anything to take a look at things. You have aluminum magazines, which are really pretty sweet. You can daisy chain them together. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit, but you can see how they're daisy chained together so you can slide them back and through. Um, I mean, <laughs> where else do we go? We got adjustable cheek pieces here. Of course, you got the electronic tuning system down here, and I'll turn that on for a second. You can probably see it right here. And we're gonna get into that into another video over on American Air Gunner. So if you're curious about tuning these guns, 
you're going to want to go head over to American Air Gunner because we will be putting some more videos out on that again. And then you know, what's nice about this, and you, I don't know if you're thinking about this, but it really helps with the barrel swap situation because you're not having to turn knobs or do anything. You can save your settings here. So you can get uh, your 22 caliber barrel on here, set up the settings, know exactly where you want it, and then go back to it when you're ready to put on the 22 caliber barrel for either hunting or a 30 caliber barrel if you're doing some 100 yard stuff or maybe you're going to do field target now so you're putting a 177 barrel on it, you've got your settings already at the range. So you're not gonna have to reset everything once you get there, which is nice. Um, guys, I, I, I'm sure I'm leaving something out. You got the accessory rail down here. Like you said, I got the AccuTac bipod on it. Uh, of course, the scope rail here moves forward and backwards, so you get the eye relief once you mount this on there. It's super easy to do it. Uh, today, I happen to have a Hawk Optics scope on there, but uh, just a lot of great things on here that are going to make shooting a pleasure. You know what? Two things I did forget. We have the obviously the nice, really smooth cocking lever here, um, and then also the AR-15 ambidextrous safety switch. Um, I don't know if you can see it on both sides here, so I can switch it from both sides. So that's kind of a nice feature too. So it's definitely ambidextrous. This cheek piece is on here for left-handed shooters since I'm left-handed, obviously, but it can be flipped around the other way. So, uh, so for you right-handed shooters out there, that, that will make uh, perfect sense. The, um, what do I want to say? The cocking handle goes on the left or the right side, depending upon what you like. So that's user, user switchable. And then something else that's kind of cool, you have these accessory rails here. So if you, maybe somebody who's doing a lot of uh, pesting at night and you need to have your infrared lights on there, you can. Uh, you can even have one on each side, really, really kind of light up that, that area in front of you. So a lot of sweet things here. Like I said, I'm sure I forgot something, uh, but we'll be able to dig in further to this air gun here in just a little bit. And again, you're gonna to wanna to hit subscribe hit that bell, especially if you're appreciating this content. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, give this thing a thumbs up. And uh, I really appreciate your support back home because it's because of you guys who are supporting me at your computer by just hitting those things that I get the opportunity to show these things and share these things with the world and you back home. So thank you for those of you who have done that. So I promised you that I would take this out to the range during this first look. So. You know what? We're going to take it out to 50 yards. Let's get this bad boy down there and see some what initial testing was going on. But I'm going to give you a really quick sneak peek. And I'm just going to flash a little picture in front of you. Did you see that? That's a dime. If you get the opportunity before you hit anything, you can hit pause if you want to here in just a second. But just take a dime out of your pocket for a second and just hold it in your hand. Look at how small that is. Just look. It's tiny. Well, not to give away anything, because you'll get the chance to watch this, but that's five shots at 50 yards with this gun after about 40 minutes of use and a little bit of testing. But hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this down to the range and get this shooting. All righty, Air Gunners, I have got the brand new Day State Alpha Wolf out here, and I've had an opportunity to kind of get things dialed in a little bit. Haven't had a ton of time with this rifle. Matter of fact, this is really only the first time that I've come down to the range to use it. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting some really good tight groups in here. I still think that I'm going to be able to get this thing even dialed in just a little bit more than where we're at today. The wind down here, we're talking about 10 to 12 mile per hour air gusts. So that's going to have a little bit of effect, but we got the 177. We're going to shoot it at 50 yards. And so far, <laughs> let me tell you, I am really, really intrigued and pleased with this air gun. Now, if I can only do it justice and show you how it shoots down there at the 50 yard mark, we'll do all right. So, hey, I'm going to load up some pellets. We're going to be using the JSB redesigned heavies. They are 13.43 gain pellets. Uh, it really seems to love these things. I'm also going to go ahead and show you what tune I'm using so you back home can at least duplicate or have a starting point uh, to get some results like I've got going on here. So, hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and load up the magazines. And let's get shooting. All right, we got five shots in here. Let's load them up, see what we got. Woohoo! 
that. Now that is a five shot group. We got to go down and check that out right now. This is only the first time down the range. I've had it out here for just a little bit over an hour, and these are the results I'm getting. Haven't even cleaned the barrel or even had a chance to polish it yet. And we should know that doing both of those things are going to help tremendously. Um, guys, the Alpha Wolf really is a top-notch air gun. Really, really impressed with this iteration of essentially what is a Delta Wolf with a stock on it. Absolutely in love with it. Matter of fact, I might just like it a little bit more than the Delta Wolf when it first came out. This thing is pretty sick. So, hey guys, until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth and those pellets fly straight. We'll, we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisory.